Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and this is going to be a really random video, but basically, uh, if you have a gigabyte um, Ryzen motherboard, so an X570 or a B550, maybe even B450, I'm not sure how many motherboards are affected by this, um, but this was definitely kind of a thing on 3000 series, and with 5000 series it's just gotten worse, but you might have been experiencing some hitching with the USB. Um, with the like USB 2.0 ports. And actually it kind of happens a little bit on the 3.2 ports, but primarily like the 2.0 ports are especially bad. So uh, yeah, so watch the mouse. Like right now I just want to demonstrate. So yeah, you, you can see it's it's hitching right now, right? Like I'm trying to move the mouse and sometimes it just kind of doesn't. Like now, see, like the, 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 so yeah. So very pleasant to work with this. Um, and it's not the mouse, it's it's the board doing this. Um, and if you have a gigabyte motherboard then, or actually, like, I kind of run into it with other motherboards occasionally as well, but on gigabyte motherboards, it seems to be, like, especially bad. Um, so anyway, we're just going to run some Cinebench, because um, there's a way, there's a workaround for the hitching. And my main concern with the workaround was, like, is, does this break power, like, do, does this affect performance in any way? So... Um, perfect. This is working exactly the way I wanted. So we're running Cinebench 15 just as a random multi-threaded test. It's not super heavy. If I wanted something super heavy, I'd be running Prime 95. Fun fact, Cinebench R15 is not actually heavier than Cinebench 15. Uh, I mean, Cinebench 20 is not heavier than Cinebench 15. It's just longer, which does mean that it won't pass at higher clock. Like, it'll not work at clocks that finish Cinebench 15, but it's not because it's like high power draw, it's just a longer test. Anyway, so if I could close the Cinebench window, that would be, I uh, fi and yeah, no. So you, you can really clearly see the, the mouse is just not, you know, doing what a mouse should do right now. The other thing I wanted to run is a single threaded test. So we're gonna run one, uh, just one pass of Super Pi 1 million. Um, just to demonstrate, like, the main purpose of this is to show that the single-threaded and the multi-threaded purpose, like, performance here is the, the keyboard decided to, oh my god, it, it also seems to get worse over time, so, you know what, we, we might not get to run anything, <laughs> Can I, please, I just want to open the, oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to use the keyboard. Oh, even the keyboard's all glitchy as hell. Come on. No, I want to, yeah, it, it looks like the USB port, like, goes to sleep and then it needs to wake up. So, anyway, screw this, I'm not. I'm not putting up with that. Like, it, it doesn't matter if your single-threaded performance is great if you literally can't use the bloody USB ports. Like... <laughs> the performance is irrelevant if the system is literally unusable. So, the fix for this... Like, I was really hoping to, to get to demonstrate that it doesn't have a performance impact, but... You're just gonna have to watch the clocks instead. Come on, get me in to the BIOS. Did it crash? It shouldn't crash. Maybe the capture card's being stupid again. It was fine, like, all for the live stream earlier today, so I don't know why it's being dumb now. Okay, so now it's fine. Anyway, so you go to Advanced CPU Settings, and you go to Global C States Control, and you disable them. And that fixes the USB hitching. Which, uh, and the cool, like, the, the, th the main concern I had when I heard that this was the fix was like, wait, you're disabling C States, Does that, doesn't that, like, screw up the power management for the CPU? Doesn't, like, don't you lose single-threaded, like, d don't you lose idle and that kind of thing? And, well, you don't. Which, to, like, that that was really surprising to me. So it's, like, global C states um, is, I guess, C states for things that aren't the, U like, other things than the CPU itself. So, yeah, mouse is smooth right now, but it always starts out smooth, and then it steadily, dis like, deteriorates into unusability. So, 
Anyway, we're, we're going to actually get through running all the things I wanted to run last time. So we're going to run our Cinebench. We're going to run uh, uh, Super Pi as well. So, yeah, R15 runs at the same clocks. The previous score was 42.39. Um, and right now we should be getting like a 42... Oh, we actually got an even higher score. Lovely. So, yeah, we got a 42.56 Cinebench. Um, and this is just a stock 5950X, um, which, speaking of the 5950X, thank you patrons and, like, Teespring merch purchasers for funding it. Um, we're not going to save the benchmark score, and now we're just going to run SuperPi, and, like, it, like, it's fixed. Like, it's not being unusable anymore, and you'll also notice that we're getting plenty of single-core boost while running SuperPi, right? Like, there's 5 gigahertz on uh, core 1, 5 gigahertz on core 4, um, you know, so, yeah, we, we still have the same sort of, like, usual boost behavior, but we don't have the mouse hitching anymore, which is just, like, it's, it's great, <laughs> it's, it's usable, I, I'm, like, I, I don't, well, like, I actually, like, my suspicion when, it, like, what, like, I did kind of suspect that it's, like, some weird power management thing with the USB ports going to, like, sleep or something, which is why they turn unresponsive, then they start responding, and then they stop being responsive again. Um, and apparently that was right. I just didn't know how to fix it. So, yeah, that, like, it's, it's fixed. Like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, like, as far as I can tell, now it just works. Um, so... Yeah, that's pretty great. So if you've got a Gigabyte motherboard and you're having, you know, the USB hitching issues, um, try this. And actually let me know in the comment section below if it worked for you because, like, I found, like, the, the USB hitching when, like, it's just so frustrating. I, I actually want to know that this is a legit fix that actually works for other people and it's not just, like, my system being weird and it only works for me. But considering that it's not like... It's not like I discovered this. Somebody else was like, hey, Bilzo, you should do this. It'll fix the hitching. So apparently it worked for at least one other person because I don't know how else they would have known to suggest this. Um, so, yeah, and now I'm just trying to, to, to spread it because, like, this, this to me has been, like, the biggest problem... I've had with at least the B550 Master. I have kind of had some USB hitching on some other motherboards as well, but it's never like not anywhere near as bad as what this is, where it's like th the mouse is just gone, right? And, and now now it's like now it's fine. N now it just works. You just have to kill C like global C states in the BIOS. Um, so yeah, I guess that also explains why in the BIOS the mouse. Like all, like you wouldn't get this kind of USB glitching out stuff because there's no power management when you're in the BIOS. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's that's it for the video. So, uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below if you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking. Uh, I have a Patreon. There's a link to that down in the description below, which is how I got my hands on a 5950X. And then there's also the AHOC Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch. Uh, same, you know, same purpose as the Patreon. It just helps running the channel. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.